What's up, people? Your boy Chris right here, and I just got out of Walmart because I was buying some merchandise that you guys can see here and back there. And I've made some more. It's not much, just so many other extra orders I had. And look at my teeth, they look so nice. I love the YouTube filters, make you feel so confident and shit. And damn, and I'm just mind blown because I'm just going to Walmart and I need to go pick up some mail and stuff. And they actually open like a nine, so I was just making up some time after I found what I needed. And I always go to the uh, toy section for the Hot Wheels because I love the Hot Wheels. Dude, I see like a tall white thing. And what the fuck? It was a robot. Like he just like. I'm like. Nigga, what? <laughs> I'm so mind blown. Um, funniest part is the cashier, it's an old lady from Cuba. And she's like, yeah, I know, I hate it. They cut in the hours and everything. And I'm like, yeah. I mean, if I see it as a owner, as a businessman, it makes the most sense to get robots and get rid of the drama. I'd rather change a battery or a little engine or a program software update than dealing with people's drama like, oh, my family just died or my cousin needs me to go or stuff like that. Personally, it sounds inhuman, I know, but as an employee, employee as a person, it's more like, yeah, you're getting your hours cut. There is actually more jobs that are gonna be left of like you're either like an entrepreneur, engineer or tech company so you can survive in the next 50 years and it sucks, right? For most people because all they've been taught is go get a job and if you don't like college or you cannot even afford college, you end up for a while with a job like a cashier at Publix or Walmart. There's nothing wrong with it as long as you make it temporary. Some people just make it a living and that's what I don't agree with it. But this shit, it's mind blowing. Like people will not have a job. And I mean, I read it online on some newspapers, articles. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. well, I was reading that like the truck's gonna be robot trucks now or soon to be. And the, actually the most recent I read, it was the uh, cashiers, the, the, the bank clerks or the clerk bank. I don't know how to say that word or I don't know the order it goes. And look at my hair, it's, so, it's growing guys. I'm so happy it's growing. Uh, dude, that shit, it's like over 200,000 jobs or people are gonna be uh, jobless or are gonna go out of, be fired, some shit like that, it's a word. And I'm like, all right, cool, I'm in the bank now too. So think about it, like McDonald's, you go to McDonald's, there is no people anymore. Like they don't wanna talk to you. They're in the kitchen and minding their business and then like you gotta scream their name to so they can come pick up your order. Um, when this is not doing it yet, as long as I'm concerned, Burger King is not doing it yet. But it's like you have people drama like, oh yeah, I need a pay rise, a pay rise, a pay rise. Like maybe like even if you go from seven to eight bucks, I honestly don't know what's a pay rise from them, the way the minimum wage. But if you go from seven to eight, that's one dollar per hour. Let's say the average person works. 40 hours, that's 40 bucks, times the amount of thousands of employees they have. Do you think they rather even, let, just, just to give out a number, let's say they, if they do a pay raise, it's gonna be maybe half billion a year for the company like McDonald's on losses and the sense that they have to pay that to employees. But what if they invest a billion, even two, three billion on softwares and computers and robots. Because you're looking at the long-term picture, dude. You don't have to comp you don't have to hear complaints from people five years from now, oh, I need another raise. Because inflation is cutting up to most people. Check, and hey, it makes sense as a business owner to just invest in the long run. And those robots, I bet if they don't go out of market because there's something better coming out and cheaper, they will last at least 20 years, easy. With a few maintenance here and there, but easy at least 20 to 10 years. And they already broke even in the first year or two, cutting hours, and now they work 24 seven. They don't complain, they're only in the maintenance. And listen, I'm all in for that. I personally fire all my staff and just 
paid for a software on my business which makes life 110% easier. You don't have to live with drama, like, oh, I need vacation, sir. Or, hey, my family, this shit just happened, sir. Or I have bad results, sir. Like, dude, just a fucking ass software. And, you know, it's a slap in the face for most people. Me included. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, I haven't taken a shower in days. Me included because, you know, it sucks. Because, that's gonna be that means less people buying off Amazon because they actually uh, broke uh, honestly I'm just kidding there I'm just teasing you guys and take it too serious please don't cancel me um, not that I'm famous or anything but maybe in the future I am and then I get backlash for this stupid ass video who knows internet's crazy that they never forgive but however uh, I'm just here I'm gonna pick up my mail uh, from one of my businesses because I got a new car and to work on those babies and get more uh, price sheets and actually go get work done. I need to go home, take a shower, and take a shower, and yeah, of course, take a shower, change my clothes, and then go out of Starbucks, get some work done, and then go pick up my siblings because they get out uh, not that late, but uh, sometimes I'm more productive on the Starbucks when I'm like surrounded by productiveness and it's not like you have a choice to not work. Oh, that's a car I love, guys. That's a car I will love until I saw the Jaguar F-Type R. Like that's an actual cool car. And I might cope that one in the near future. Who knows? Who knows at this point? Oh shit, there's, a oh no, never mind. There's no parking spot there. Um, yeah, life's gonna change really quick. So let's get to it, guys. Let's get to it. If I don't care where you watch this video, honestly, if you're still watching after seven minutes of nonsense, maybe some good stuff, uh, reach out to me. Uh, any social media it should be Ecom Chris without the I E C O M C H R S. I have a hard time spelling because I dropped out of school, but yeah, um, honestly, I'm so intrigued to see who's watching these videos, um, even if it's 2020, 2025, 2030. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, who knows? Like, life changes so quick, and look at me right now. Not a billionaire yet. Soon to be. Um, I think it's kinda cool because I would love to see a pop proctor on his first days, his first years, maybe when he was 22, maybe when he was 30, and now he's like 80 something. I would love to see uh, Marky when I was a kid, or as a teenager when he did open the bar um, maybe the tactics don't work but the mindset does you know maybe a young Grand Caron struggling with sales like hey I can honestly learn from his mistakes as well if you're smart enough you can learn from people's mistakes maybe I'm making a shit ton of mistakes right now I have no idea dude like I have inventory there inventory here I have no idea if I'm making mistakes honestly I will see as I go and as I grow because I've seen that myself that when you push yourself like I'll give him the most stupid example, you know, I never wanted to get a corporate ma email because like, yeah, it's X amount of dollars a month and I don't want to spend the money and for you wondering, it just says you got this when I get like inside your stuff and, and then I went to a business meeting and I met a shit ton of suppliers out of Miami and the first thing one of them asked me, hey, what's your email? In my mind, I'm like, shit, if I give like a Gmail, at Hotmail, at whatever, it's gonna think I'm a professional and I want that price list so bad. And I honestly made up a email domain at spot, like right there, my company name, my name, boom. And I just wrote it down and then when I went back home, I'm like, shit, I have only a few hours before he actually sends out the mail, the emails. I think it was like an eight actually, but I needed to buy that domain. So by the time he will send the price shit, I will receive it and I think I, I tweaked the limit a little bit I don't know if you ever sent it but the point here being made is that if I didn't go there I wouldn't gotten the email and now for that because I have the email I'm able to get tens and thousands of price sheets because just the email you know because when you get an email like oh yeah I'm Mr. Real Estate Guy I make billions here and your email is at AOL I won't trust shit that you tell me or you sell me because you just seem unprofessional to me and there's actually a parking spot 
it's gonna need yeah i'm gonna actually like this but since i'm just staying here talking it's just cool that there is a little parking spot in the front so i don't have to walk much right there it's coming up i know i'm lazy i'm sorry i'll fix that anytime soon and yeah guys i mean a lot going on i'll talk to you guys soon all right take care bye